Hi, everybody. It's so wonderful to have you here today. And I want to start a conversation to learn more about what the exhibition We Are Life, Somos Vida, means, what it entails. So I want to ask Anna Ives, the curator, if she, if she can walk us through what, what can visitors expect when they come to see the show? Okay, uh, thank you, uh, everybody. Um, uh, the proposal for the exhibition is to evaluate, um, protect and safeguard our planet and our life. And for this reason, we create an exhibition that participates 17 uh, artists um, and um, painting, a sculpture, and photography is there too. Maria, so what is your take on this exhibition? I know that you both worked for months, for years on this proposal. What do you think about this show? In particular, this is not the first time that we uh, actually celebrate and send uh, a strong message of saving the planet. But this particular one has the peculiarity of uh, quite a few different countries, like uh, we're talking about probably 10 different countries of, from South America. And the museology, which is the art of hanging the pieces in a coordinated conversation, is going to give uh, the, the people that visit the, uh, the exhibition uh, a, a meaningful uh, and a strong message of how we are deteriorating the, the health of our planet. So is it a thrill to have two of the participating artists in this conversation right now? So I want to ask you if you can tell us something about one of the most meaningful pieces that you have in this show, if you can tell us something about the inspiration or if there is any story behind it. So let's just start with Marcella. Um, I'm very excited to be participating on, you know, We Are Life because ever since I began painting, I have been inspired by the environment, the living things and more so animals. And in this particular exhibition, I have a painting that is called Wisdom Senses and it's monkeys. And so I decided on monkeys, not only because I think they are like very wise species and they, they resemble so much the human species, which is remarkable. But at the same time, I think they are reminiscent of fun and mischief, right? So I wanted to do play with that. And I took direct inspiration from three wise monkeys, which I didn't want to put focus on the proverbial part of it, you know, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. I didn't want to mention that, but I, but I wanted to portray the fact that when we lack a sense, when we are missing a sense, the rest of them heighten. So somehow we learn to use them more wisely. And given the ecosystem and the earth, I think it's very important for us to reach that sense of wisdom and then use it on this earth and its future. I'm very, I'm very intrigued now. So how about you, Sheila? Can you tell us something about one of the pieces and what it means to you uh, to be part of this exhibition? Yes, of course. Hi, Juliana. Well, uh, the piece I'm going to show you is a uh, cutout named Thus I Was Born, as in a sea. It's a cutout where I express my feeling of love for the land. It is called to consciousness, to highlight the true source of life water, fire, uh, fire, earth, and um, the, the, the connection that we need to, to grow in the, in the, in the life, in, in this land. And the, I, I, I represent a woman who crashes in a position of connection with the earth. She has the sort of energy, her is a strength, it's, it's mineral, it's power to get up and move up. Uh, this uh, figure is, it can be a native or primitive woman with a natural force in her face. She look at us to get closer to her feeling and invite us to take the position and chart ourselves with all the universal and healing energy power where the only religion is natural force. Why the Corral technique? Well, the Corral is a very old technique that is taught in the art academic to know the use of the contrast between light and shadow, to begin with the engraving technique. 
it's very interesting how it, it stay in my memory. And after the years, I return to it as an art inspiration. So in the economic depression of 2008 and 2009, it was my exhaust and guy at this time. Art has always been the mentor of my life. So it had not had the monetary impact. It has always served as a spiritual guide. With the nude, I have been able to speak of my interiority, of what is behind the skin, what is why the cutout helped me to let me see through the line of the body, the light can penetrate it. The drawing is my calligraphy as a gestural expression based on a strong and secure line. So I incorporated support for the Coral and become on mixed media. Thus I was born is the blessing that all human beings receive from the Mother Earth. This is my artist statement about the, the, this piece that I'm going to show you. So there is no doubt that this exhibition is going to be incredibly empowering. I mean, listening to just these two artists talking about what is coming up in this exhibition. So I am really thankful for Mariana Naivis and the artists here for bringing this work to us. And I want to switch the conversation now to Maria and Naivis. I mean, Maria, you, you both have brought incredibly high quality exhibitions to the cultural center, to the Pompano Beach Cultural Center. So. I want to listen, if you can share with us what Latin American Art Pavilion is about, what is your mission? So can, can we hear from you, Maria? Well, as um, a lot of people within the visual art uh, field in South Florida knows that I started uh, representing Latin American art in art fairs, but, um, consequential of uh, um, incidents <laughs> in the art business, it, it pushed me to think a little bit more deeper. And I decided about five years ago to create this uh, particular project. I did a start um, ex having an exhibition in South Florida, but Pompano Beach for whatever reasons of destiny, uh, since the very beginning, um, it kind of uh, engaged me. The Latin American Art Pavilion got involved in the opening of the original cultural center that wasn't even built by then. And that's how more or less the whole started with the entire South Florida, which I'm, as a founder of the project, extremely grateful to the Pompano, city of Pompano Beach uh, that has always a, uh, kind of uh, give us the not only the opportunity but the support on this curated exhibition that has not just the meaning of hanging pieces of art, but to send in a message of culture and educational to the different communities of Pompano Beach. And what I like from the exhibitions that you two have put together is that the quality of the artists that you're bringing to the Pompano Beach uh, city area, the cultural venues, is of the of the highest that, that we've seen. So, uh, for for our city or for our organization to be starting with such quality project, uh, it's been amazing. So, Anaïs, uh, going to you, can you share with us how does the process start of creating the show or putting an exhibition together for, for the Latin American Art Pavilion? How is your process? When I create uh, uh, an exhibition, I, I try to create the idea, uh, a, a solid idea that can uh, put together other things, you know, because um, you, you can have a concept. But this concept come with a, a lot of ideas that you have to uh, organize, you know, because you want to, mm, that the public feels that you want, that you want to feel, you know, and you have to uh, direction, take a direction for, for this uh, route. Uh, it's, it's not easy, it's hard, 
but it's a, a beautiful when when the the visitor when the public uh, uh, no, uh, see that you want that 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 they uh, have to see you know? it's beautiful and it's amazing like when uh, when i first I, I remember the first time i went to see the engraved exhibition Oh, Even great. you share with me the portfolio, I got a sense of what the pieces were, but then you go to the space and there was this, 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 this artwork that had this texture coming out and it was white. So I, I can sense, I can sense what you're saying and it's very similar to my process too. Yeah. So Maria, I want to go back to you. Um, recently we were talking about some of the goals that you have for the project, the Latin American Art Pavilion. Do you want to share with us what are some of the immediate projects and where do you see this uh, this project going forward? Where, where is it going? Well, uh, after all this uh, craziness uh, of the COVID, et cetera, that we all been through, uh, I, I don't know. I think uh, our mind is, is kind of a, a stretches out better now and we have big goals in front of us for next year, for the month of the Women Celebration Month, we are going to have a, a group of uh, artists, including one from Cuba, that they actually integrate painting with textile and different kind of um, threads and other elements, including the sculpture as well. And, and ceramic. And this is one of the, um, I feel that it's gonna be one of our most important uh, exhibition. Uh, because as Anaibi said, our goal, our mission is to send a message, not only to the art lovers, but the collectors, that the quality of the artists that we bring in our exhibitions are um, definitely uh, good buys for future collections and as an investment as well. And this is part of the, of the, of the business now <laughs> into this. And then in 2023, we are going to celebrate the Haiti month, a Caribbean island with a long, beautiful uh, visual arts uh, culture and heritage. Uh, which I'm trying to include music as well and dance. So this is the big surprise for the 2023, I'm sorry. Well, it is fantastic uh, to start hearing that, you know, you're planning ahead for the upcoming exhibitions at the cultural center. So I look forward to our next conversation in a year from now with this or maybe a different set of artists, but I'm sure that the exhibition is gonna be fantastic. And so I want to thank Anaibis, Maria, Sheila, Marcela for joining me today. It's been a wonderful conversation and it just gives an idea to the people watching us today of what to expect when they come to see an exhibition. So thank you all today for joining me today. And thank you so much for those watching us until next time.